Hello everyone. We are second grade students from Dongae Gwangi High School in Republic of Korea. This is Bejeon, Hyujian, Park Jonghyun, and our teacher is Ho Junyuk teacher. Before you watch this, watching the basic one would be helpful to understand this video. We will learn how to compare the formation of an anticline and cyclocline by using paper model. Wait, what is anticline and what is cyclocline? They are a kind of word. Word is a stratum which is curved upwards or downwards by the force called transverse force. Words have axis and wings. Axis is line that connects the points of maximum curvature. Axis may be vertical, horizontal, or inter inclined at any intermediate angle, but we are only going to see the vertical axis now. On the axis, the strata on both sides are wings. If the wings are the shape of going to downwards from the axis, this is an anticline. If the wings are the shape of going upwards from the axis, this is a syncline. Say easily, if a stratum has upward convex shape, this is an anticline. In contrast, if a stratum has downward convex shape, this is syncline. Now we will compare the formation of anticline and syncline by using paper model. Before we start, what we need is scissor, adhesive tape or glue stick, color pencil, and fold paper model. Then let's start. First, draw a design of anticline and color each stratum to indicate different kinds of routes. Second, cut the diagram out of the paper. Third, Fold the paper along the dashed lines, making all folds in the same direction. Fourth, fold the sides over their corresponding tabs, side A over tab A, side B over tab B, and so on. And use adhesive tape or glue stick to secure the tabs to the sides. When standing on each open side, the box will represent an anticline and prepare a syncline model and practice the procedure in the previous experiment. Display the two models with labels. Now let's see the direction in which the strata are curved. As you can see, anticline is an arch-shaped stratum which is convex upward. On the contrary, syncline is an arch-shaped stratum which is convex downward. Here is what we can know through this experiment. When an external force is applied, there is resistance inside the material, which is called stress. A rock placed under increasing stress goes through three stages of deformation in succession. Elastic deformation, ductile deformation, and fracture. Elastic limit is the maximum stress that can be developed within it without causing permanent deformation. If the external force is weaker than elastic limit, the material returns to its original state. This is elastic deformation. If the external force is stronger than elastic limit, the material doesn't return to its original state and it stretches. This is ductile deformation. In this ductile deformation process, fold is created. When external force is stronger than ductile limit, stratum is fractured, and fold is created. Fold is not created when fractured. 